This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Map Ed New York Nutrition Educator with Cornell Cooperative Extension and today we'll be saving time, saving money, and eating healthy with apricot and lemon chicken. Out of the five my plate food groups, fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy, protein is a food group that most Americans do get enough of but may need to make leaner and more varied choices. That includes beans, low-fat meat, fish, nuts and seeds, tofu, and the chicken we'll be using today. Chicken is lean, low cost, and super affordable, so let's get right into it and see what we need for today's recipe. To make four servings of apricot and lemon chicken, this recipe calls for four medium boneless and skinless chicken breasts. As you can see, I'll only be preparing two because I'm only feeding myself today, and I don't want any to go to waste. Boneless chicken tends to cook quicker than bone-in, so that will save us time, and getting skinless will limit saturated fat. Next, one teaspoon of cumin, and for even more flavor, we're adding fruit. Why wait for dessert to enjoy some fruit? Let's add it right into our main meal with five tablespoons of apricot spread. That's about one third cup. I try to buy one with as little added sugar as possible. And then have juice from one fresh lemon. That's about three tablespoons of lemon juice. The flavors from these two fruits pairs really well with chicken, and if you wanted to, you can even add in some garlic, pepper, or herbs like rosemary for even more flavor. But to keep today's recipe super simple and easy, we'll only be needing four, well maybe five, simple ingredients. That's going to be our chicken, cumin, apricot spread, lemon juice, and two tablespoons of water. Since we'll be pan searing our chicken, we'll also need to have a pan, some cooking oil, and a spatula as well. This recipe will make four servings. Each serving is one chicken. Before we get started, wash your hands with the warm water and soap for at least 20 seconds. And because we're working with raw meat today, we want to be extra careful. Keep raw meat and its juices away from other foods, especially ones that aren't going to be cooked. And all surfaces that touch raw meat, like your dishes, countertops, Cutting boards and utensils should be washed with hot soapy water. One thing we don't want to wash is our actual chicken. That's because any harmful bacteria will be cooked away. So best practice is to actually have a food thermometer handy so you can make sure your food is cooked to the right temperature. With that in mind, let's prep our chicken as we heat some oil or cooking spray in our pan on medium high heat. Livening up lean protein doesn't mean adding a bunch of salt or saturated fat like butter. To keep chicken juicy and delicious, rub your favorite spices and herbs on the raw chicken before cooking. Along with the cumin we're using today, other seasonings like chili powder, paprika, dried basil, onion powder, and dried oregano go well with chicken too. Getting comfortable with experimenting in the kitchen is one way to add some pizzazz in your cooking and give you some variety in flavor. Plus, mixing your own spice blends is often way cheaper than store-bought blends. Once coated in cumin, wash your hands since we've been handling raw meat. Then in your heated pan, add your chicken. I usually like to cook one or two chicken breasts at a time so I don't overcrowd my skillet. Cook both sides for about six minutes each on medium to high heat or until cooked through. Varying your protein routine to include lean meats like chicken can give you the nutrients vital for your health without extra saturated fat. Too much saturated fat from fatty meats can negatively affect our heart health, so we should limit these when we can. Other proteins like seafood, nuts, seeds, and beans can offer us healthy fats and or other important nutrients. That's why it's good to get a variety. Looks like my chicken is almost cooked, but color and texture aren't always reliable indicators that food is safely cooked. So that's why we want to use our food thermometer. The safe minimum internal temperature for chicken to make sure all harmful bacteria is cooked away is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Place your thermometer in the thickest part of the chicken and at least a half an inch into it. 
Once cooked to your liking and at at least 165 degrees, remove from the pan and repeat with the rest of your chicken. In the same pan, add your apricot spread, lemon juice, and water. On medium heat, stir until smooth. Fruits contain many nutrients that are often under-consumed, like fiber and potassium, meaning we may need to find more ways to include them in our day. Focusing on whole fruit more often than fruit juices is one way to maximize the health benefits from those fruits. Some other ways to include fruit during dinner is maybe pineapples on roasted ham or peach salsa on top of fish or tacos. Try to think of how you can add fruit in your next meal. And with our sauce heated, spoon it over the chicken and here it is, my apricot and lemon chicken. I love mixing sweet and savory flavors, so on the side I have some garlicky green beans and a little bit of brown rice. By including at least two of the five MyPlate food groups, I have proteins, vegetables, grains, and fruit, I'm getting a MyPlate meal packed with nutrients and a lot of flavor. And these high fiber foods like my vegetables and my whole grain brown rice are really gonna help me feel fuller longer. Today, this recipe did cost me about $10. If you were making four servings, it might cost you about like say $13, but that's for four servings. Making each serving about $3, which sounds like a pretty good deal to me. But if you wanted even more savings, you can always check the store flyers or even buy in bulk. Buying in bulk is great even if you are only a family or one or two because you can put the rest in the freezer. It'll last about 9 to 12 months and you can take whatever you need out at a time. I usually like to test out some different marinades and flavors. So one way I do that is actually using the apricot spread in some barbecue sauce. Again, that's going to have a sweet and savory taste and it's actually pretty good. Other ways you can use your apricot spread are maybe in yogurt, on whole wheat toast, or use it in the place of syrup for your waffles and pancakes. There is so much versatility when it comes to fruits and lean proteins like our chicken. So next time you're in the kitchen, try to think of how you can focus on whole fruits and vary your protein routine. And don't forget to get creative with it. But if you are looking for some more recipe ideas, check out snapedny.org and or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I hope you enjoy your next Snap Ed New York recipe, and thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, and remember, small changes make a big difference. See you next time. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with Snap Ed New York. This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snapedny.org. This material is funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.